Have you ever wondered how one can find peace amid chaos, or freedom within constraints? As we journey through the philosophy of the Stoic sage, Epictetus, we will uncover profound answers to these questions, revealing an ancient wisdom that remains deeply relevant today. Epictetus, born as a slave in Hierapolis, Phrygia, present-day Turkey, and later gaining his freedom, lived between 55 and 135 AD. While many philosophers of his time engaged in high intellectual debates in the comfort of their academic enclaves, Epictetus lived a life riddled with hardship and challenges. Yet, it was these very circumstances that shaped and refined his insights into the human experience. His teachings were not mere speculations but a lived philosophy. At the heart of Epictetus's teachings lies a clear demarcation between what we can and cannot control. He held that our desires, judgments, and intentions are ours to master, while external realities such as wealth, health, and reputation dance to their own tune. Recognizing this distinction offers the key to an untroubled mind. For Epictetus, real freedom isn't about external circumstances, but about the state of one's mind. By focusing on refining our internal world and accepting the external as it is, we find a kind of freedom that's invulnerable to the whims of fate. Men are disturbed not by things, but by the views which they take of them, Epictetus once stated. The essence here is that our emotional responses to events are molded by our judgments about them. Two people can experience the same event but have completely different reactions to it, based solely on their perceptions. By acknowledging that our judgments play a pivotal role in our emotional well-being, we become empowered to cultivate a mental resilience that stands unyielding against external adversities. Nature has its rhythms and patterns. Day follows night, seasons change, and rivers flow to the sea. Epictetus advised us to see our lives in harmony with these natural processes, understanding that resisting them leads to suffering, while embracing them can bring tranquility. This principle ties back to the first point but emphasizes the peace found in accepting things we can't control and focusing our energies only where we truly have a say. For Epictetus, education was the soul's fortress. It wasn't about rote memorization but a deep transformation of the self, aligning one's life with reason and virtue. The path to wisdom is not a sprint but a marathon. Through persistent self-examination and practice, we inch closer to the Stoic ideal of a life led by reason. As we reflect upon the life and teachings of Epictetus, it becomes clear that the echoes of his wisdom resonate even in today's turbulent times. It's not the external world that we must conquer, but our inner landscape. Amidst life's ceaseless ebb and flow, in the words and wisdom of this ancient philosopher, we find a beacon reminding us that while we cannot command the winds or the waves, we can choose how we set our sails. Building upon Epictetus's teachings, we can draw strength and guidance for our modern lives. In a world where we are constantly bombarded by external stimuli, be it social media notifications, pressures of consumerism, or societal expectations, the Stoic wisdom offers a sanctuary. It reminds us that in the face of incessant change and uncertainty, a well-fortified mind remains the ultimate bastion. Consider the challenges we confront daily. Economic fluctuations, political discord, personal disappointments, and unexpected setbacks. Epictetus's philosophy equips us with the tools to navigate these challenges with grace and composure. While we may not have control over every aspect of our lives, we have complete dominion over our reactions, our perceptions, and our decisions. It is here that Epictetus provides a transformative perspective, the idea of reframing. When faced with adversity, rather than asking, Why is this happening to me? We can ponder, What can I learn from this? Or, How can this shape me into a better version of myself? Such a perspective shift, seemingly subtle, has the profound power to change despair into hope and obstacles into opportunities. Additionally, in a world often driven by instant gratification, the Stoic emphasis on long-term virtue over short-term pleasure can guide us towards more fulfilling and meaningful lives. Instead of being swayed by fleeting emotions or transient desires, we can anchor our actions and decisions in deeper values and long-term objectives. The Stoic commitment to personal integrity, 
to acting justly even when no one is watching, is an inspiration to lead an authentic life. Reflecting on Epictetus also brings forth a message of unity and interconnectedness. In understanding that every individual has their own battles, their own challenges, and their own perceptions, we learn to approach others with empathy and compassion. Everyone is on their own journey of grappling with and understanding the external world while managing their internal realms. As we navigate the journey of life, the philosophy of Epictetus serves as a timeless compass. It doesn't promise a life without challenges, but it provides the wisdom to face them with equanimity and courage. It is a testament to the enduring power of his teachings that, centuries later, we still find solace and guidance in his words. By mastering our own thoughts, judgments, and actions, we not only honor the legacy of this ancient philosopher but also craft a life of meaning, purpose, and profound contentment. The teachings of Epictetus also underscore the importance of humility. In recognizing the vastness of what we don't know and accepting the inherent unpredictability of life, we become open to continuous learning and growth. Just as the Stoics believed in the ever-changing nature of the universe, so must we acknowledge and embrace our own evolution as individuals. Our perspectives, beliefs, and knowledge are in a state of flux, and in that flux lies immense potential for personal development. Furthermore, consider the concept of legacy. Often, in our quest for immortality, we seek to leave a lasting mark on the world, whether through achievements, creations, or progeny. Yet, Epictetus asks us to reflect inward, emphasizing that the most profound legacy we can leave is not in tangible monuments, but in the intangible impressions we leave on the souls of others. It's in the wisdom we impart, the kindness we bestow, and the example we set. This brings us to the value of simplicity. In an era defined by excess, where more often equates to better, the Stoic ideal encourages us to find joy in simplicity. It is not the abundance of possessions that brings contentment, but the richness of our inner lives. By reducing external clutter and distractions, we can direct our energies towards introspection, understanding our own nature, and nurturing our relationships. In contemplating mortality, a topic Epictetus didn't shy away from, we find another profound lesson. While death remains one of the few certainties in life, the Stoic perspective invites us to view it not as an end but as a part of the natural order of things. This awareness of our own mortality shouldn't paralyze us with fear but should instead serve as a potent reminder to cherish the present moment and live with intentionality. Drawing inspiration from Epictetus it becomes evident that life's beauty doesn't lie in its certainties but in its uncertainties. It's in the unexpected twists and turns, the challenges and the triumphs, the lessons we learn, and the wisdom we share. By embracing the Stoic principles, we find a roadmap to navigate life's complexities with grace, humility, and a deep sense of purpose. And as we continue our respective journeys, let's carry with us the essence of Epictetus's philosophy that while the external world is ever-changing and often beyond our control, the true realm of power and freedom lies within. It's in our capacity to choose, to reflect, to love, and to grow. The teachings of Epictetus, though ancient, offer a timeless wisdom, urging us to seek harmony within ourselves and with the world, crafting a life that resonates with authenticity, purpose, and profound understanding. In the myriad tapestry of philosophies that have graced our world, the teachings of Epictetus stand out as both a refuge and a guiding light. His words offer us more than just doctrines or theories. They present a lived experience, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversities. It's a call to introspection, to realize that the most profound battles and victories occur not in the outside world, but within the confines of our own minds. As we march forward into an era marked by rapid advancements and unprecedented challenges, the relevance of Stoic thought becomes even more pronounced. Amidst the cacophony of modern existence, the simplicity and depth of Epictetus's insights serve as a grounding force. They remind us that in this unpredictable dance of life, our true strength is derived not from external validations or accomplishments, but from our inner fortitude, our capacity to adapt and our unwavering commitment to virtue.
But perhaps the most poignant lesson from Epictetus is the notion of impermanence. Everything around us, including ourselves, is in a state of constant flux. In recognizing and accepting this transience, we unlock the ability to cherish every moment, to value our relationships deeper, and to tread our paths with a blend of courage and compassion. It's fitting, then, to see the philosophy of Epictetus not as a static set of guidelines but as an evolving conversation, one that has spanned millennia and continues to inspire and challenge us. As we delve deeper into his teachings, we're not merely absorbing knowledge, we're participating in a timeless dialogue about the very essence of human existence. To embrace the teachings of Epictetus is to embark on a transformative journey, one of self-discovery, of balance, and of a profound understanding of our place in the vast cosmos. And as we navigate the complexities of our lives, fortified by the wisdom of this Stoic sage, let us remember that the ultimate power to shape our destiny, to find peace and purpose, lies inherently within us. With this realization, we don't just conclude our exploration of Epictetus but rather set the stage for a lifelong journey of reflection, growth, and enlightenment. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope that you enjoyed the episode. Up until next time, take care, and see you soon.